What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. Hey, you guys. So it is a Revolt World weekend, and I will be going. And you guys, if you know me, then you know I'm going by myself. So um, y'all know it's about to have fun. But before we get into all of that. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. Welcome to the gang, you guys. Um, ah, I'm just so excited to vlog this weekend because it is Revolt World Weekend, you guys. This is my first time going, and I'm going by myself. Um, I did hit up a couple of friends to see if they was going, so we're going to see, we're going to see what's, what's goody. But I was watching this creator video, and she was like... You know, I want to start going places like events, you know, out to eat, parties by myself. You know, she said she always feel like she needed someone with her to feel validated, to feel confident. And I can't relate because y'all know me. I love a good solo day. I love to go places by myself. And I love, honestly, I actually do like going places by myself because it pretty much forces me to make new friends, to talk to people. Because I'm the kind of person, like, if I'm with my friends, then... You know, we came together, we stayed together. And of course, we might meet some other people and talk. But really going out to like super big events and like it really forces you. Number one, it really forces you out of your social anxiety. And it also forces you to make new friends and to talk to other people, networking and things like that. So, yeah, I just did my makeup. I have my lace wrapped up. I do have on a glueless wig. Go to my TikTok and go look at my TikTok shop for the wig details. Makeup looks great. I'm about to put on my press on. Let me show you guys the fit. Well, half of the fit. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys half of the fit because I don't have the whole fit on. But I'm going to show y'all the whole fit when I have it on. So, this is day one's fit. Um, it's this Barbie t-shirt with these Barbie shorts. And I got some Barbie socks and like some little pink little platform crocs i'm gonna do so something really chill for today i'm gonna kind of do a little bit more casual cute look tomorrow and then i'm gonna kind of do like a little semi little dressy look for sunday because well dressy casual look for sunday because they're doing like a sunday service and so i'm gonna be going to that so i'm gonna show you guys the full fit like with the shoes when i get ready but i wanted to come and um open up this vlog and to let you guys know what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to see you guys um, when I'm fully dressed, when I got my accessories on, when I got my shoes and stuff on. And yeah, I'm going to try not to talk too much so y'all can really see me turn up at the event versus me just talking. Super excited to go. I had to come to Revolt World this week because I'm like, I always miss it. And I was not missing this year, especially because um, y'all know like I've been y'all life has been lifing for me and i got a whole bunch of things coming up and stuff like that so we're not gonna get too much into that but you know when i'm gone or when i'm not posting on social media it's not because i don't want to post on social media it's just like you know i'm the kind of person i like to like handle like my personal life before being on socials because you know i don't want people to ever think like I'm this certain way when in real life a bitch be going through it y'all a bitch be going through it but I still get up I still put myself together and I still do what I gotta do because life goes on so yeah I'm gonna see y'all when I'm fully dressed and before I head out okay y'all so I'm walking in but y'all when I say I just went through so much I had to leave my tripod to my camera up that I'm praying nobody takes it but uh, I don't know y'all this is I don't know some told me not to even bring that part because it was barely even fitting I really honestly wish I left it but it is what it is hopefully it's up there when I get up there yeah I'm gonna see y'all Get 
into that bag with my best friends. Oh. And I do it like this. I put on my jewelry just to go to the bodega. And I keep it with me just so that I'm feeling safe. <laughs> Fendi on my body with my feet is in. This should be a money. It's so a whole lot, lot of money. Go, go. Ezio, you a thousand bitch. You a scratch up. They got you. I know that in that building now. Make them call me Mama Millie. I'm my children now. I know y'all can barely see me right now, but because of the lighting, but huh, y'all, yesterday, um, I tried to make the most of yesterday. Um, it was just a lot going on, y'all, a lot. I'm not going to go into full detail about everything, but what I will say is I had issues getting into the event because, again, like I told y'all, I have, y'all know my little Sony ZV-1, and then I have the, um, bluetooth camera stick that like you know the little camera tripod that goes along with it so um the guy said you can take your camera in but you can't take that little tripod stick in because you know my camera is small very compact so he said that's okay but not the little stick thing so i'm like okay cool i couldn't like it was nowhere for me to leave the tripod like it was literally nowhere for me to leave the tripod so i had to literally end up um, leaving it at the front and the guy told me it was good and I wish that he never told me that because if you knew you wasn't really gonna look out for it or whatever like don't tell me it's good then I came back up there a second time to see if it was good he said it was good so I'm like okay cool maybe it's just gonna sit up there but apparently at the end they cleaned up everything I don't know if they threw stuff away I don't know if they got it somewhere I I, I, I really don't know honestly i don't um and yeah i mean i'm hoping it'll come up the rest of the weekend that's if i go y'all like i do want to finish out the vlog i do want to go enjoy myself but like i said it's just a lot going on and this is why like it really don't be me y'all i really be trying it, it don't be me it just seems like i can just never catch a break but good news is that was the bad news the good news is um one of the other security guards saw me and y'all this is why it pays to be a good person a good individual because god will bless you in so many ways y'all one of the security guards saw me and he knew that you know my tripod was lost y'all he gave me the 200 dollars to replace a tripod i was like i'm gonna cry he was like no don't cry i don't want nothing from you just replace your tripod i'm still gonna figure out what's going on because y'all a lot of people was coming up there at the end saying their stuff was missing people stole it and i'm like i know y'all ain't throw away that tripod that's you could it got buns on it like you know that that tripod cost some money like ain't nobody just throw that away so i don't know if it was stolen or i don't know if they put it somewhere um i'm gonna try to go back this weekend and just make the best of it to see if it turns up but if not shout out to the security guard that gave me 200 dollars to replace it i will be replacing it and that's why i say just be a good genuine person because when stuff like this happens and it works still works out in your favor that's just god you know sending people to bless you because i've been a blessing to others so and i will continue to be a, a blessing for others because you know you just never know what someone is going through and you know the security guy he saw that i was really really frustrated about it because i worked so hard like no one knows i worked so hard to get this camera and i'm glad i was able to keep the camera because obviously the camera costs like 800 dollars, and then the um, the little thing cost 200 dollars. so i spent a thousand dollars on my camera in general so i'm glad i was able to keep the camera and and you know um fix the and get the tripod that was like 200 dollars. so and then, you know, I can't even be mad because God blessed me. He gave me the $200 to replace it. Um, I'm not going to go and buy it just yet because I want to see if it's still going to turn up. But if it don't turn up, if it's a lost cause, then shout out to the security guard. I will be replacing my tripod. And, yeah. So, that is the good news. I don't, like I said, I don't really know if I'm going to go today because, like I said, it's just a lot going on. But if I do end up going, um, I will continue to vlog. I don't I, I have to kind of bring my camera because y'all my phone has no space and it's like every time I go somewhere like or go to like an event where I have to record on my phone my phone messes up but like when I'm just at the house just chilling just doing whatever it's working but when I need this it never works so um hopefully I'll be okay with my camera and of course I don't have the tripod anyway so I'm going to be bringing that. But I'm going to talk to you guys later and let you guys know what I'm going to do. 
Um, I'm about to check the schedule to see what time I'm going to go um, because it's just super hot out there to really be going out there all day. And yeah, but yesterday was cute. Like I said, um, they did the RE tasting show, which was cute. Um, I do feel like they could, she could have asked more questions for Kendall Kendall and Lil Duvall because really all they gave was a chef was bringing them. Because it was supposed to be cooking with the Don, but instead of them obviously cooking, they had a chef bringing out food. And they was tasting like which one is the chef food and which one is like, you know, just regular, like out the can or like, you know, whatever. And um, I just wish it was a little bit more interactive, but... It was still cute. It was still funny, but it just, I feel like it could have been a little bit more entertaining. Um, after that, I didn't do much but go to the food court, sat around, talked to some people, you know, network, you know how they go. <laughs> um, and then I went to the concert. I went to the female rap concert. They also had like other events going on, like Pinky Cole, Derrick Hayes was there. Um, they had their thing going on, which I really wanted to go to that, but... I don't know. I was my head was all over the place with the whole tripod thing, and then they also had drink champs with Method Man. So um, I ended up just staying for the female rap concert, and it was cool. It ended up being cool. And y'all, Fly Guy DC, it's not young, not not DC Young Fly, but Fly Guy DC, the 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 host, he on my hit list. Cause why he picked me to get a free drink? I went over there. I went over there, and y'all guess what? He didn't give us a free drink. Y'all, we got kicked out the section. Apparently, some people stayed and they actually got their drink. But he kicked us out the section. Like, I don't, child, I don't know. So, I didn't get a free drink. But whatever. <laughs> I was lit anyways. But it turned out to be a pretty cool night. Like I said, I'm going to see you guys later. And we're going to see if I go again today. Or if I just want to not go because y'all it was yesterday was a long day and it was just uh, honestly a lot going on but we'll see it's currently 10 45 um i'm just kind of chilling just trying to rest because like i said i was pretty much out all day and i ended up going out um to a couple like you know a couple bars it was bar hopping last night so yep yeah, i'm gonna see y'all later <clears throat> okay y'all so i am on the way to day two Hopefully, they have my tripod. If not, um, I didn't tell you. Well, I did tell y'all, but I don't know if I'm going to start that clip in. This is why it pays being a good person because um, one of the security guards saw that, you know, I didn't have my tripod. So, he actually just out of nowhere gave me the money to replace it. So, shout out to him. I'm super grateful, super blessed. Um, I'm excited for day two. I don't know why. The only thing with this camera, y'all, is it's, it overheats really, really bad. And, like, I just took it off the charger, and now it's about to go dead. But, luckily, I got two batteries with me. I should have brought all three of my extra ones. But I'm going to try to get as much as I can today. Um, it just depends because I know I'm going to be outside for the majority of the time. So, I don't know how the camera is going to do it overheating. But, yeah, um, today, I don't really, like I said, I'm kind of just going with the flow today because like it's way more stuff going on today than it was yesterday so yeah makeup looks good my outfit it's pretty cool pretty chill comfy <laughs> i'm gonna see y'all when i get there um what did it take for you to stand on business especially like being on baddies and stuff i know it's probably like a lot trying not to get lost in the sauce like what is some good advice for you to stand on business honestly i don't follow a crowd that's not my thing. So it could be a hundred bitches saying that this bitch ain't shit. But if I see something in her, I'ma stand up for her. I stand up for what I believe in, no matter what it is. Nobody ain't gonna scare me out of that. So in baddies, if you have, you know, you see me getting on. Uh, at Revolt, we believe 
that everybody should control their own narratives and control their own stories. So I could come up here and talk about how you won championships, MVP. I could I could define you in my own way, but instead I'm gonna ask you, who is Cam Newton? How do you define yourself? How do you introduce yourself to the world? A retired thought. Wow. <laughs> Just tease. My girl here too, so you know. You did. There she go. Look at her. Um, nah, I think for me, I'm a Mustang. So how do you feel about it when people say or like make the, what do you call that? Um, what do you call that when you see some shit? Vision? I can't think of Perception? Perception. Oh, we could go with that. It's not what I'm trying to say, but like that a lot of men that grow up in single parent households raised by women are kind of bitchy and kind of I mean, I don't think it's stereotypes really are it'd be some and emotional so I can get the content done instead of just like not vlogging until I get home. Like, I know y'all probably tired of it. Like, I just really want to be in the moment. And y'all know I'm by myself, so we really just vibe. You guys, we're back again for day three. Day three, you guys. So I just made it. Um, I'm going to see Pastor Mike Jr. He is doing a Sunday service. So 
Um, I'm gonna be waiting for that to start. But in the meantime, between time, I'm probably gonna find some shade and sit down because it's gonna be like 12, 33, so I got about 30 minutes. My makeup looks good and I kind of rushed it, but it looks great. And um, it's really no one here today. It's pretty early. Um, I know a lot of people gonna pull up for Carisha, please. That's what I'm gonna do after. And then I may stay to hear La Roach speak because he's supposed to be speaking about fashion. So we're going to see. But um, I am gonna leave like pretty early today, like around, if I do stay for the fashion thing, it'll be about five, six. If not, I'm gonna probably leave around four. So yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna see you guys later. Oh, and this is the fit. I have my Charles Loverboy hat on, makeup. Um, this little two piece, little bag, and my Dior's. So, yeah, this event started. Woo! Okay, we can do better. Yeah, we need a little more energy. Y'all ready to get this thing started? Woo! Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so first up, we've got Tez on 10. Y'all are here for a live taping. Y'all a fan of Tez in this audience? Woo! Facts. When he was president of the United States, our inflation rate was basically 2% throughout the entire time. Wages adjusted for inflation were rising. And that's the measure that really matters, wages adjusted for inflation. When you look at black unemployment, it was the lowest time at any point in American history to that point in time. When you look at the economy overall, it was growing across the board. The Trump tax cuts, which gets demonized a lot, actually added more revenue to the federal government than at any other point in the history of our country adjusted for inflation. There was money coming back from overseas because companies were bringing that money back and the way the entire tax uh, policy was structured, it was actually moving into really only two categories. One, wages for, uh, for workers. Two, being able to buy back stocks. That's the only two ways that that money was- it's already mine, already mine. I got it, I got it. gift giveaway. Y'all know I gotta give y'all something. But it was hard to put it on the beat. On the beat. So that's when I got school. I, I used to see how I gotta switch it up, take words out to put it on the beat. And now in this generation, who are some artists that I won't say inspire you, but what artists now now music you like? 
rappers, um, male rappers. Uh, who I've been listening to? I uh, I've been listening to No Cap. I've been listening to No Cap. I like pain music because I oh, go walk like Raw Wave. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like your Raw Wave. Come on, I ain't telling anybody not to turn it off. But what, what, what happened with Raw Wave? Uh, <laughs> basically, he had sample. If you want your money, not, not sample, not sample. I'm not gonna say sample. He took the song name. You have it. You you have it, and it's the it's the, the ability to think on your feet, and you know, and to 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 take the non-verbal cues from what you you know watch people and watch the room. You know, those those are more the things that you are born with, right? Everything else can be learned, and then you have to love it. Like people think the job is so. This is one of the most demanding, hard, stressful jobs in the world, and, and often thankless. 